Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about how to find a particular element in a list. Means we are going to check whether that particular element is available in the list, and if the element is available, we will display the position of that particular element in the list. So let's first declare one list. So first, we will declare one uh, hard coded list. Means we will directly provide the values here. Let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So this is the element. These are the elements in the list. So this list has five elements starting from the zeroth position till the size minus one. So it will start from zero, first, second, third, and fourth. So what we want to do, we want the user to display him the message like which element he wants to find in the list. So let's first create a variable. Let's say key. Key is the variable name here and we will print the message int and then we will ask input and message here enter element to search so here user will define which value uh, the code should search let me correct the spelling here enter element to search now once we get the element here now what we want to do we want to check whether this particular value is available in our list or not so let's have a for loop for that so for loop for i in range so what will be the value for range here it will be the size of list so size of list is 5 you can also uh, directly pass here 5 give the proper intention and then we will check the condition with the help of if conditional statement if key is equal equals to whatever value for the current iterator we have so list of i so if the key which the user has entered is equal to list of i so first time the list of 0 will have the value 10 then for the second iteration it will have value list of 1 means 20 value and so on till 50 so in this way we can check it so we need to give your proper intendation again and if that value is equal to key then we will print the message element present in list at position at position let's add your i so let's save this code and run now let's see what output we are getting here so first thing is the list is created then the first message that we are getting here enter element to search so let's say I want to search 30 so I will provide the value as 30 yeah the code is executed successfully like uh, we are getting here not any errors so second statement that we have printed here is element present in list as 30 is present in the list so we are getting a message element present in list at position 2 so it says at 2 because it starts from 0 right so first time value of i will be 0 so 30 is equal to list of 0 so it is 10 so not equal then i will have the value 2 then 30 equals to list of 1 sorry second time i will have the value 1 then so list of 1 will be 20 so again the condition is not true for the third time the value of i will be 2 then 30 is equal to list of 2 so list of 2 is 30 so we are getting the value uh, expression as true so we are getting the message here, element present in list at position i so if you want to have the uh, indexing from 1 you can increment the value here with plus 1 so in this case what we will get we will get now here 3 so element 30 will be present at third position so let me run this so let's search for 40 now so 40 is present at index position is 0 1 2 3 but the position as you see here is fourth like if you start from 1 then the value 40 is at the fourth position so see we are getting here the output element present in list at position 4 so what we can do more in this code 
like instead of hard coding these values we will take these values from the user so we know how to take the values so first thing is we will just declare empty list so let me remove here the values and here we will ask the user the size of list so let's say I take another variable list size and restrict it to int then input and let's say enter size of list enter size of list so here the user will provide the size of list and that much values we need to accept so we will need here for loop for for i in range so what will be the range now range will be the list size value whatever user has entered here so we will have this value here and inside the for loop we will accept the values for the uh, list now so let's declare one variable or instead of declaring variable you can directly make use of append method so here you can say list dot append and inside append you will provide the input or here you can say enter element enter element so let's run this code so first message that we are getting here is enter size of list so let's say we have six elements in the list so here the loop will execute how many times six times starting from zero going till five so in total it is six so six times we will get this message enter element so let's enter element 78 65 64 1 11 and 6 so how many elements we have entered here see 6 11 1 64 65 78 so total six elements are entered and now i want to search let's say 11 i want to search so i will type here 11 so we are getting here enter element to search after that the code is not executed enter element to search so why it is not executed because we have provided here uh, range till only 5 so here we need to provide the correct values because now list is having not the hard coded value 5 but the value of list size so here we need to provide list size so let's run so here we are getting message for enter size of list let's say we enter here 4 so enter element will be printed 4 times because the loop will execute it for 4 times so let's enter elements 21 3 11 and 1 now I want to search the element 11 here so after that we will get message enter element to search 11 so see we are not getting any output here why we are not getting output because as the value is present here 11 so this condition should be true for the uh, third time right because it is present at the third location so why it's not printing it equals because what we have done here wrong or a mistake we are accepting the key in the form of integer right here but here we are not expecting integer if you see here input it's not integer so these are treated as string internally so what we can do we can make it to integer here int int now we try to save it and run now so enter size of list let's say 4 enter elements 23 24 11 and 1 and this time i try to search 11 so see we are getting here element present in list at position 3 so we are getting the correct output as element is present at third position so in this way you can execute the list by accepting the values from the user and then finding the list another condition that we want to check here let's say i run this code again enter the size of list let's say 3 enter elements 11 22 and 33 and here i search 44 as it is not present in the list so we are not getting anything right because that element is not present so what we can do if element is not present then we will print the message that element uh, does not exist in the list so here we can have one variable let's have here whenever this condition will be true 
let's declare that variable above let's say one integer variable count equals to zero so this is the value of count so whenever this condition will be true we will increment the value of count so count equal to count plus one and when the element will not be found then this statement will not executed so the value of count will be zero in that case and lastly we will check the condition for count let's say here if count equal equal to zero then in that case only we will print print element does not exist in list so let's save this and run now stop and rerun so enter size of list so let's say 3 enter elements 11 22 33 and we are trying to find 44 here so we are getting the message element does not exist in list and our code is executed successfully so in this way you can play with the uh, different logics that you want but the basic aim of this video was to identify the element whether it is present in the list or not so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching